the NARP, or New Assault Rifle Platform project, began back in 2018, seeking to meet the key requirements of Italy's special forces. While there were several delays to development due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the rifle has been tested and iterated over the last couple of years. In September 2023, Beretta unveiled their next-generation combat rifle to the public. I had the pleasure of speaking to Andrea Candian, Beretta's Defence and Law Enforcement Product Director. He explained the ethos behind the rifle's development, noting that the NARP project will create a family of combat rifles. Beretta were keen to stress that NARP isn't actually the rifle's name, but rather the overarching project to develop new combat rifles. Mr. Candian explained that the rifles themselves will likely have alphanumeric designations once they're introduced. Working with the Italian Special Forces and other members of the Special Forces community, Beretta identified five key considerations. Lethality, ergonomics, reliability, modularity and signature reduction. Mr. Candian explained that Beretta systematically analysed and tested various options for each of the rifle's key features, selecting the ones which optimised one or more of the key considerations. One example of this is the development of a proprietary three-prong muzzle device which reduces the weapon's flash signature, and similarly the incorporation of a Cerakote finish designed to reduce the IR signature of the weapon. Beretta also noted that they've developed their own new 3D printed Inconel B silent suppressors which will pair with the NARP program rifles. The rifle also features either a single or two-stage trigger. The trigger of the rifle on display at SHOT Show, which I had the chance to handle, was impressive with a notably short take-up and crisp break. As you'd expect, the rifle's controls are fully ambidextrous and also symmetrically positioned on both sides of the receiver. NARP's 5.56 incarnation will be available in 11.5, 14.5 and 16-inch barrel configurations. In a departure from Beretta's current ARX-160's use of polymer, the new rifle's upper and lower receivers are both made from aluminium. It weighs around 3.2 to 3.3 kilograms, about 7 pounds, and has a quick detachable forend actuated by a single latch on the right-hand side, with a 12 o'clock rail and M-lock interfaces. Unlike the AR-15, the rifle's recoil spring is housed within the upper receiver, which allows an adjustable buttstock to be used with Beretta developing their own design. Since its unveiling, the rifle has been seen paired with both Lancer L5AWM translucent magazines and Magpul PMAX. The weapon uses a short stroke gas system with a two position, normal and suppressed, adjustable gas port, and has what Beretta describes as a prismatic bolt carrier with a rotating bolt. This reportedly minimizes vibration and reduces fouling issues. For ease of cleaning, the handguard can be removed and the gas system stripped in a matter of seconds, and the captive bolt group can be removed from the rear of the upper receiver without having to remove the T-lever charging handle. The initial configuration of the NARP program to be unveiled was unsurprisingly a 556 by 45 chambered rifle, with various barrel length offerings, but Mr. Candian emphasised that it is not an AR-15 pattern rifle, though given the ubiquity of the AR-15, the new rifle does borrow features from the familiar platform. This, Beretta says, was a conscious decision to take advantage of widespread user familiarization with an established and proven platform. In the future, Beretta plan more chamberings including 300 Blackout, 6.5 Grendel, and a larger caliber version chambering 6.5 Creedmoor, 7.62 by 51, and possibly the NGSW's 6.8 round. Development and testing were said to be rigorous shaped to fulfil and exceed NATO's D14 handbook on the evaluation procedures for future NATO small arms weapon systems. Beretta say that with standard issue SS109 5.56 ammunition, they're achieving accuracy close to that of a designated marksman's rifle, but as the rifle has been developed for military tenders, they could not give any specific data on this. Mr. Candian noted that tweaks are still being made to the rifle based on feedback from testing with Special Forces personnel, and that the receiver's profile will have some small changes made. There is also room for customer-driven features such as a left-side charging handle, a selector with a burst function, and different handguard lengths, muzzle devices, and barrel lengths. With a number of European nations expected to begin seeking replacements for their current service rifles in the near future, Beretta are making a concerted effort to revamp their military offerings and are positioning themselves to compete with other major players within the small arms sector. 
be sure to check out the new TFB TV video from my friend James for another look at Beretta's NARP with some additional input from Beretta representatives. If you haven't seen it already, do check out my video on Ohio Ordnance Works' new 338 machine gun. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you enjoy these videos, please consider supporting my work through Patreon or check out the History of Weapons and War app. Links to both of those are in the description box below. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.